Jan, how was the squad after the extra time exertions of Friday night? Um, sore, a lot of knocks to be fair. Um, but look, you take that if we're getting through. But uh, a lot of fellas had to be managed yesterday, today, and probably going into Friday to be fair for the rest of the week. It was quite a dramatic kind of result you got last week with Roland's goal and the penalty shootout. Was that kind of galvanised the squad? Was there an increased mood afterwards? Yeah, look, it was great after, obviously, but um, look, we probably got a bit of luck that we haven't got all year really, so we were probably due a bit of that. Um, Already on the game, we probably could have been, we should have been out of sight really, we had a lot of chances and we were one up obviously through to Connor's goal, but uh, we just need to be a bit more clinical so that when we do get that, we can go and get the second, maybe third, which we should have got. And when you give teams a chance in fairness to Cabin T to be a fit side, put you under pressure with a lot of balls into the box, and we gave them two goals really. And But look, at least the boys in the second half of um, extra time showed a bit of character and guts, and look at the way things are going. It might have been easy to lie down and accept it, but. And we could have won it after. I think Dan Casey had a great chance with a header from a corner, went just straight after Rona's goal. So look, that was pleasing, yeah. First division, division opposition again now, the next one with Galway. Happy enough with that? And um, look, who knows? We'll deal with that after Friday, to be honest. Look, we'll have to get Galway watched. Um, I know they're a young side. I know the manager quite well, and um, we know we'd have to be at it because look, nothing will take them for granted. You, not just ourselves, but you saw our Premier Division sides against First Division outfits this week, and. Not anyone had really had an easy night of it, so um, you have to give them the respect they deserve and we'll do that, but we just wait until after Friday before we start properly working on that. And speaking of Friday, um, once the Darby's are always kind of highly passionate affairs, just how big a game is Friday night's game for you? Yeah, look, it's massive for both clubs really. Um, no matter who, what side you go down with or what side they have at the time, it's always, it's never an easy place to go and as you said, it's always passionate to crowd down there and we always get a good following down there as well, so look, something you have to look forward to as well. And, Hopefully after last week the boys get a bit of confidence from it and take it into Friday and, and hopefully come away with a positive result. John, I suppose that the old saying, winning becomes a habit and not winning becomes a habit. Like 10 domestic games and whatever win, like, what, what would a victory do for you at this stage like on Friday? Oh, it'll be massive, but look, obviously look, we'd uh, to try and get a bit of momentum as well and try and put a few wins together. Obviously, look, last week the way it came about as well as uh, we'd hope they'd bring it into Friday and if we can get a win Friday, Maybe try and get a bit of momentum, but look, Friday's not going to be easy by any means, and uh, we'll have to be at our at our best to get a win down there. And um, but look, that's what you have to try and do, and try and put wins together and string a few wins together. But um, look, Friday will be tough. We're in the no illusions. Waterford still a lot of very good players, and um, yeah, look, it's a game we prepare from since yesterday, and we need to go down there and put in a performance. Yeah, recent games against them, been poor, John. Have they lost the last the last two two nil? So. You know, what, what's kind of, you know, put your finger on it, like your previous two performances against them? You know. um, look, if I remember the game the RC, I think for the first 50 odd minutes we were very good. We were very good and um, was it, did we have a goal disallowed, wrongly disallowed, I think Gary Buckley. Mm. And, um, which was wrongly disallowed it was, and we looked what if it scored then, and look it was probably, we were at that stage then when we scored then, heads dropped a bit and maybe confidence was low and they, I think El Buzeri got a, a last minute break away from a corner to make a 2 0. So, um, we just look, we've gone down there with uh, teams over the years and it's never easy and stuff like that. Like, so, uh, hopefully, we can go down and put in a performance and get a bit of confidence from last week and try and get a positive result. And often, the, the, the lack of repeating myself again, John, the goals <laughs> obviously is, is the thing that comes up all the time. Like, one goal in the last four league matches, like, you know, is that, has that affect confidence or spirit in the group? Like, uh, are you thinking where's that goal going to come from? Like, is there an over kind of? Well, to be fair, lad, the spirit was very good, very good. Obviously, last Friday, the way we got through the game helps. I think to be fair, and uh, last Friday was a game that we could have scored probably five or six, but obviously, as you say, we still only got the two, and that's where you need to be clinical when you get those opportunities because they don't come along very often in in league games, and uh, we need to be a bit more clinical when we get in because we've created chances in those games that you're talking about and. It's just a matter of trying to take them and have a bit of composure so that if you do miss one, you have to go in again and hopefully finish the next one. Monster Derby is by nature supposed to be, you know, usually kind of a physical battle. Like, and, you know, where, where do you think you, know, you could come on top against them? Like, what's going to be key key areas maybe Friday? Probably taking your chances. Because I see Waterford, you know, they probably don't score too many goals either. So I'd say whoever takes yeah. their chances maybe defends the best. Same as any other game, really. The physical side, look, we don't mind. We have a lot of players that are used to that, and I know Waterford will be the same anyway. So, um, 
but of course you have to take your chances when they come along and you have to defend well in every game and generally over the last four or five weeks we've been defending better and uh, we need to defend well without a doubt especially when you're away from home and hopefully take one of those chances when they come along.